This video is all about the top five neighborhoods to live in here in the city of Temecula, California. So our team, we're always working with a ton of people that are relocating here to the area. A lot of times they're even making a big move out of state. And when people are making a big move like that, they're always asking us, you know, what the best neighborhoods are. So these are the five that I always make sure to mention to them. I'm gonna rank them up one through five. I'm gonna go over what I think makes them so desirable and why so many people wanna live there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, hey again, my name is Justin Short. I am a realtor and team leader with the Short Real Estate Team here in Temecula, California and Merida, California. And like I mentioned, this video is all about the top five neighborhoods to live in here in the city of Temecula. So I'm gonna rank them up one through five. I'm gonna go over what I think makes them so great and hopefully give you guys a really good perspective. Um, but you know, the first thing, if you are liking videos like this, please do me a favor, you know, please hit like, please hit subscribe. So it helps me, it helps the channel. We've got a ton of videos by now, all about the cities of Temecula, cities of Murrieta, cities of Menifee, and the, and the surrounding areas, talking about you know best neighborhoods, worst neighborhoods, um, you know, cost of living and market updates and, and all types of stuff. So if you are interested in the real estate market here locally and want to know more of what it's like to actually live here, um, I would definitely recommend to check those out and, and subscribe because we're going to continue to put out new videos each week. Um, and then if you have any questions about the real estate market or if you're thinking about making a move out here, you can feel free to reach out. You can call, you can text, you can email. Uh, we work with a ton of people that are relocating here to the area. So uh, definitely love hearing from you guys. And of course, I'd love to, to help you with, with your home search myself and my team of course so but let's go ahead and we'll get we'll get into the video here so again we're talking about the you know the top five neighborhoods I don't know I kind of feel I have to put up the five every time but uh, it's all about the top five neighborhoods here in the city of Temecula so we're gonna start at number five and we're gonna work them down um, and then the, the way I'm ranking them is about you know desirability so when I'm working with clients about you know what areas that they want to live in right um, and places that I think are pretty good bang for your buck and places that you know I recommend people to check out if they are making a move here so all right so the first one we're gonna get into is number five and so this is gonna be the fifth best neighborhood to live in here in the city of Temecula California and that's gonna be the neighborhood neighborhood of Harveston Lake um, so Harveston is kind of in a unique location so if you, if you guys look at a map um, it is obviously off the, you know the 15 freeway runs north and south you know through the city of Temecula um, it's off of Winchester so Winchester is the off-ramp that you're gonna take to get to the neighborhood of Harveston and um, it's just the, the neighborhood's kind of located just north of the mall. So if you're looking at a map, you can kind of you know get that for perspective. Um, if you're if you're looking at a map, it's the one that's around around the big lake, right? So it's it's a man-made lake, but it's the only lake there in in the area. And really, what makes it so desirable is one, yes, it's on the lake. So the lake is super cool. The lake is super pretty. Um, it's like a big time photo zone, right? So like people go there to take their prom photos or before you know, any type of like school dances or like anniversary photos or wedding photos stuff like that like it's like a big time destination for that um, and so people are always it's a super active area so people are always walking around the lake riding their bikes riding their scooters all, all that type of stuff but it's just a really really pretty setting um, but as far as the neighborhood itself it's what makes it so cool is it is different than what most of the other the rest of the city is gonna be like right so a lot of people if they're looking at homes here they can they can tend to think oh you know, city of Temecula is maybe like a bunch of stucco boxes, you know, they all kind of look the same. Um, you know, you're driving through and they're all kind of different shades of brown. What's super cool about Harveston is there's really some really different layouts and different styles and different like facades to the houses to have definitely have some more character. So there's different roof lines, right? You definitely have like some more, you know, New England style and, you know, East Coast style, like more like A-frame type styles and just something that has a little bit more character. And that's always something I hear from people, especially when they're moving from out of the area is that you know they're really drawn to the neighborhood of Harveston um, because it feels like there's a lot of character right it's a little bit different than what else is what else is around um, also you know the HOA really gives you a ton you, know, you have the lake there's a community pool community spa there's all types of stuff to do there and it's a super central location um, so where you're at you're actually kind of on the border of Chemekla Marietta but the freeway is just a few minutes away the mall is super super close which means all the restaurants that the mall offers etc um, are all right there and and super close so um, that would be number five is the community of Harveston Lake. 
All right, so the fourth best area to live in here in the city of Temecula is the area of Duluth. So Duluth is, is a little bit unique than compared to some of the other neighborhoods that we're gonna list off because it's not like a tract home community. Uh, so Duluth, where it's at location-wise, right off the 15 freeway, really it's to the west, which is there's not many home living areas up there. Um, so if you're on the freeway, you look left, you look towards the where the coast would be, right? And that takes you to Duluth. So what's kind of cool about Duluth, it's a, it's a super different terrain than what most of the area is going to be. Um, it is one of the few areas where you can get larger properties. So like the minimum lot size up there is four acres, right? So if you don't want that type of land or you want more of a tract home, it's not going to be the right area for you, right? Um, but if you are looking for space, I think it's a super, super cool area. Uh, what makes it different than most other parts of the area is it's super hilly, super green and super hilly terrain, right? So the topography is super cool. There's a ton of trees. There's a ton of fruit trees. There's a ton of avocado trees. Uh, there's a ton of citrus. There's a ton of, um, you know, there's, uh, there's, great, I guess, grapevines that are up there, all, all types of cool stuff. Um, but it's a very, very pretty area to drive in. And because of just kind of the natural topography of it, right, a lot of hills and rolling hills and whatnot, it makes for some super, super cool views. Without a doubt, the best views that I have seen here locally, probably within like an an hour's drive of anywhere out here are going to be up in Duluth. So Duluth, just the, the views are super cool. A lot of mountaintop properties. They're super, super, super cool. Um, they are all, you know, custom built estates. So with that, you kind of get, you know, some that maybe are a little more grand than others, right? But they're all minimum four acres up to eight, 10, some even 20 acre properties. Some really, really cool stuff. And there's even you know, like just true like farmland up there where people farm avocados or farm citrus or any, anything like that. So so it's a really cool area, definitely higher price point. I mean, you're paying for the acreage and the land up there, um, but it's definitely super desirable, um, especially if you are looking for, for land like that. And the third best neighborhood to live in, I think I'm a little bit biased on this because it's actually where I live, but it's the neighborhood of Summers Bend. So what's cool about Summers Bend is it's a new construction area. So it's only been being built for probably the last 18 months or so. Uh, they're going to be building there probably, you know, probably the next at least couple years. I, mean, I don't know exactly how long the build out's going to take, but it's going to take some time. They're probably about 50% done or so, you know, with construction at this point. Um, what's kind of cool with it is it's the last big master plan community that's going to be going in in the city of Temecula. So I think it's supposed to be anywhere right around 1600 homes by the time it's finished um, in that there's a big mix of different types of, of homes in the community so there are they're from uh, small there's condos and kind of town home type type setups to smaller single family homes to larger single family homes and to really now they're starting to build like almost semi custom half acre you know almost a state. I mean, they're super, super cool. I guess it's not quite big enough to be in a state, but they're these super awesome large properties that are kind of lining the rim of the community, which is cool. And there's a really large 55 plus section of the community. So that's actually the only 55 plus neighborhood in the city of Temecula. Everything else is really in Marietta or some of the surrounding cities. Um, and, th and that has a gated, you know, that, that portion, the 55 plus section is gated. Um, but that's all part of Summer's Bend as well. Um, also, you know, the HOA really offers a ton so there's community pool there's multiple pools uh, spa there's a really cool gym there's a really cool rec center there's all types of events and stuff that, that they're doing and there's like eight miles of running trails um, when the project is finished all types of cool stuff and there's a big massive sports park there that's right there part of the community as well so um, I, I guess the, the, the sports park is actually not part of the community but it's like right there like you would use it if you live there right um, but it, it's super cool I mean there's like turf soccer fields and two big big old baseball fields and it's a super super cool area so um, like I mentioned I'm a little biased that's where I live um, but as I'm talking with a lot of people they prefer to be in a new construction home and that's if that's what you want to do you know you're really your only option is going to be to be in be in Summers Bend right because everything else is built out uh, most of the there's really not any other new construction going on right now in the city of Temecula so that's that's gonna be number three. All right, the second best area to live in is the area of wine country. So wine country has really grown a ton. Um, like I had mentioned to you guys in, in other videos, I've lived here a really, really long time, you know, over 20 years now. I've really seen the area grow a, a ton. And re really probably the, the biggest thing that I think of when I think how much the city has grown is when we used to like say vacation, we'd run into people from other parts of the country. You know, we, we would tell them where we'd live. We'd live in Temecula, California. People are like, huh, what, huh, what are you talking about, right? Um, but 
now there's so much tourism like Temecula is really on the map and it's really on the map because of wine country so there's now there's over 50 wineries out there um, with that there's a ton of tourism I think the last stat I saw it's like over 3 million people each year come to visit Temecula I got to say 80% of them probably come to, to go out and check out wine country uh, wine tasting and wine tours and all, all that type of stuff right um, but there's actually there's a ton of homes out there and a ton of properties that you can live in um, so what makes it cool is they're all large properties if you think like a winery right you think kind of vast and open open land right so typically out in wine country the acreage size is anywhere from like two to ten acres so you can really get some property um, so depending what you want to do if you want to have your own little um, you know wine set up and grapevines you can do that if you want to have motorcycles it's a great place to live out there if you want to have horses there's a ton of horse property out there you know it's a great place to do that um, it's just if you want your privacy and and, and uh, to be able to stay local in the city of Temecula I think it's a great great area for that and because because of the wine, wine country has grown so much, you know, the property values out there have really just skyrocketed. So I, I think it's a really great place to invest in, especially if you're going to be living here long term. I, I think you're really going to see, see that area continue to grow and grow and grow and grow. All right, and so that takes us to number one. And so without a doubt, you know, the most desirable part of Temecula and the most requested neighborhood when I'm dealing with clients is gonna be the area of Morgan Hill. So Morgan Hill, um, if you look at it on a map, it's located in South Temecula. South Temecula is where most people want to live. Um, it, what makes it so desirable is especially if you're gonna be commuting south, it's so much closer to the freeway and really can cut off 20, 30 minutes to your commute, just kind of by where it's positioned, how close you are to the, the freeway and to be heading south. Um, also, it's zoned for the best high school in the area, so that makes it super desirable area. And then Morgan Hill is just, it's just a grand neighborhood, right? Um, it's newer, so it's built anywhere from like 2008 to 2015, 2016, I think is about when it when it wrapped up. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's built on a hill, so you kind of have some rolling hills that are there. It's more of a tract home type environment as opposed to like some of the other, like Duluth's community I was telling you about a minute ago. Um, and, but with, with all those those rolling hills is it is there's some really awesome views so you have a ton of view lots um, ton of, of really open views of the whole Temecula Valley which is cool um, some tract homes that are on larger lots and then a lot of them just have like premium features right so they have higher ceilings higher doors just more grand overall and I think also just because it's newer is kind of what makes it really what keeps it keeps it so nice right um, the, there's a, there is an HOA there the HOA is super affordable it's only right about a hundred bucks a month um, but you really get a ton for your for your money there. So um, the you have a big huge clubhouse that's there. There's a community pool. There's a community spa. There's a gym. Uh, they do always do all types of you know festivities and stuff like that, especially like the surrounding parks and everything there. Um, but without a doubt, you know Morgan Hill is the most desirable part of Temecula. With that, you know it's also the most expensive neighborhood to live in Temecula. But you know I guess you get what you pay for, and it's definitely a great place to live in, in an area that most people are going to want to check out so um, that's my list you know that that's number one through five so Harveston Lake Duluth Summers Bend Wine Country and Morgan Hill uh, of course love to hear your perspective you guys can uh, feel free and you can comment let me know what you think uh, if, you, if you think I left anything off the list probably where you live right uh, let me know and uh, we'd love to hear from you guys and talk to you soon thanks